Welcome back to another episode of the Paycast. So today I have Savannah from the Senior Girls Field Hockey Team as they are headed on to OFSA. So let's get right into the recent Hayden scores. So the Senior Boys Football Team beat Garth Webb 30 to 6. Their next game is Thursday at 11 o'clock, 11 o'clock at Iroquois Ridge, which is the semifinals. The Senior Girls Basketball Team beat MM Robinson 46 to 38. Their next game is Tuesday at uh, at MMR uh, 4:30, which is the quarterfinals. And the senior girls field hockey team beat ND in a shootout one nothing as they are headed on to Offsa as they got crowned GHAC champions. So uh, Savannah, you guys went six one and one in the regular season, only allowing three goals. What was the recipe for success there? All right, so we practiced really hard this year, and we really tried to focus and practice and uh, get better on the things we need to work on. And also, our team is really bonded. I'd say everyone is really is friends, and that really helps us on the field. All right. Uh, then, uh, so, uh, what part of the season did you think, you know, wow, like, offs is a real uh, achievement that we could go to? So, basically, going into the season, I don't think we really knew what to expect. I know last year, a lot of our grade 12s were some of our stronger players, but the grade 11s this year really stepped it up. Um, some players, like, really had a great season, and after about game... Uh, I think it was game five against Abby Park, who is our first team that we faced that was pretty challenging. I had hope that we could go to Offsa if we really worked hard and bared down in every game and played some of our best field hockey, we could make it to Offsa, and we were, we accomplished that. Yeah, it was a great uh, accomplishment that uh, you guys beat ND, which is also another challenging team, right? Yes. Uh, and then uh, going into the game against ND, what was the team's mood? Well, I know we were on a high because we beat OT, and they were also a very good team. We uh, beat them only one nothing, uh, with Olivia scoring a nice goal in the second half. Well, basically, I personally, I was quite nervous, as we all knew they had this one girl who was quite skilled, and we didn't really know what to expect. They had an undefeated season, oh, crushing wow. teams, like 6 5 nothing. And we know tech, um, sometimes the Catholic board is weaker, but we honestly had no idea what to spe- expect. But we just uh, went in there, played our strongest, and like defended in our net and came up successful. So the game ended up one nothing in the shootout. Uh, do you want to describe how shootouts work for those who don't know? Sure. So in field hockey, what happens is you start at the 23-yard uh, line. So um, on the field, the lines are blue, so the first blue line. So you start there, and the ref blows a whistle, and you have eight seconds. So if you shoot it on the goalie, you just keep going until the eight seconds are over. Oh, okay. So you can take multiple shots then. Yes. Oh, okay. You keep shooting and shooting until you hear the eight-second whistle, or you end up scoring a goal. Or if the goalie, like, there's a circle. Yeah. Or if the goalie kicks it out of the circle. But you keep going for the eight seconds. Even if they save it a couple times, you just keep going until you hear that eight-second whistle. And then are there multiple people shooting, or is it just one person? Yes, so each team selects five players. So then after each five go, um, whoever has the best record um, obviously wins. But then in that match, we both had uh, four people scored and one that didn't. So then we went into a next round, and how it goes is, so one team goes first, the other team goes second, and then this team that went second goes first the next time. So Olivia went, scored, and then Reagan saved, and we that's how we won the game. Okay, just an amazing story then. Yeah. Uh, looking over the scores over the season, you guys never really faced adversity. Would you guys uh, say that it's a good thing or a bad thing? Um, it can be good or and bad. Um, bad because sometimes we would be like, oh, okay, this is just whatever. And then in harder games, we wouldn't know what to expect. But it was also good because we got to work on our skills in a real uh, game like uh, mode we get to work really work on our passing and working the ball on like you have a strong side because you can only use one side of the stick but, right yeah and then personally we had one uh, game where we played really bad in the first half against a weaker team and I feel there that's kind of where we um, realize that we, even though the teams might not be as strong we still have to play our best game to come out on top yeah, you don't want to always lose to a weaker opponent because that also ruins your self-confidence for, like, the next game up against a stronger opponent. Yeah. Um, do you know of any of the schools going to Offsa? Um, well, I haven't really looked that much into it, but I imagine uh, the team that won it last year, SJK, they usually make it. Blue Veil, they're both usually very strong teams. We also played a tournament against a team called Medway. I imagine they'll be there, so it'll be a good challenge. Um, then how do you prepare against that? If you So you know a couple of the teams. How do you prepare against that? So basically, um, we're not always going to know as teams like change players every year, just yeah. like ours. 
So just we just have to play our game and not let the opponent uh, change the way we play, keep working the ball up the right and using all our strategies that we have throughout the year that's made us successful. And then last question, uh, would you say that's a crazy thought to have to think that scouts could be in attendance since it's off Uh, Well, yeah, it can be nerve wracking, but really just you really want to just focus on the game and not worry about uh, anything else and just play your game. Awesome. Well, I want to thank uh, Savannah for uh, coming on to the podcast this week and we'll see you guys next week.